The variety of taxi fares in Singapore has caused a lot of confusion amongst passengers. And the day after the government said it will look into simplifying the charging structure, experts say another solution could lie in using technology to empower commuters. Commuters in Singapore used to have a much clearer idea about how much they would pay when they flagged down a taxi. For commuters who are price sensitive, what they do is that they don't flag down a Mercedes-Benz and you just flag a normal taxi, you know exactly how much you need to pay. But with the various fare structures now in place, commuters sometimes end up paying much more than they expect. And this runs counter to the aim of the taxi deregulation implemented in 1998. We do not see a uh, competitive fest whereby consumer will benefit. To the average consumer, do I have a choice? Now, if I don't have a choice, then that's pretty unfair to me. A spokesman for Transcap, Singapore's second largest operator, said its fare structures are largely driven by certificate of entitlement prices. Flag down rates for its taxis range from $3 to nearly $4. And it says that if standardised rates are put in place for greater transparency, higher costs could result. And this is likely to be passed on to consumers. Industry experts believe offering commuters more information could be a better solution. For instance, a smartphone app that shows available cabs in the area and contains details of the make and model of the taxi could be used. This would help consumers, especially if it showed how much trips would cost. Then it's up to me, right, whether I want to contact the premium taxi, which is 500 metres away, or the normal taxi, which is maybe 600 metres away. And then the taxi can then respond directly by calling me up. Although it's unclear how long the government's review of taxi fare structures will take. But Mr Lim says the result must meet the needs of commuters, cabbies and taxi companies.